The third danger uh, is economic. Uh, there is a valid question, I believe, that the European Commission should uh, ask itself and provide an answer as to how sustainable uh, a model that is premised on big technology companies paying out you know, other companies, telcos in our case, is going to be in the long run. Um, I cannot think of any commercial reality that dictates technology companies will stand by and continue to pay for years and years and years for the infrastructure of someone else, especially when they themselves can lay down fiber and they can do all those things that uh, telcos providers are doing. Um, at the same time, can we... I think we need to be a little bit cognizant, and I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that this has not been brought up more. Um, have we considered the implications of providing such an unprecedented access to big tech, to Europe's infrastructure? I mean, for the past year, Europe has been talking a lot about cyber sovereignty and has been trying to identify ways you know, to be able and, and express it uh, within the internet uh, reality. Um, part of this sovereignty or part of the way it has been interpreted is that we want to be more and more autonomous from those U.S. companies. And right now we're inviting them within Europe's core infrastructure because they will be part of the infrastructure once they start negotiating um, those deals. So it all goes down to, I believe, what sort of an internet future the, the Commission would like to foster is it one where future innovators have the opportunity to participate and contribute? Or is it one where a certain, um, uh, a small number of commercial actors, whether it is big tech or telcos, uh, determine the way the evolution happens?